Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is going to be crazy. I'm going to say create a to-do list that also store the item in the browser local storage. I hit the enter and then very soon this tool is going to create an HTML file with all the source code available here on the root of the directory. Cool to-do list. Open it in this and here we have. So let's say uh, create video hit enter and say edit the video hit enter if i reload you can see it actually persisting here on the local storage of my application boom to do's is here great you can enhance this application really amazingly using this tool but what this tool is it's called claude engineer now remember Devin the engineer exactly so obviously Devin was fake at that level which team was showing but Devin like tool are really exist so this is Claude engineer which is going to help you to write code just you saw in a very simple demo so what it is it's a Claude engineer as advanced interactive CLI it's only work on the command line it's powered by entropic Claude 3 or Claude 3.5 model which can do wide range of software development tasks it's think about it as your assistant as your buddy while working on any project you know there are amazing features for this Claude engineer it can have interactive chat with this Claude 3 model you can have a comprehensive file system that means it can create the file write the code into it as you just saw it can also do the web search yes it can do the web search using the tabli api have the enhanced syntax highlighting code intelligent project creation management every other thing you can see the list is really huge okay let me show you a very basic diagram for explaining how actually it works so basically when you start interacting with this as it says like it's a cli tool only then you can have some input and there are some triggers like if you say exit it will kill the conversation if you say reset it will remove all the conversation memory start from scratch you can also save the chat you have with the cloud engineer and you you can also process the image passing the image but you can give any other thing like we have given a task to create the to-do list and then it is start working with the cloud model so it will going to chat with cloud model and generate some of the you can say project structure and then finally if needed then it will use tools and create the file do the travel search and do lots of amazing thing the real power with this cloud engineer is we have just seen that it can just go on one iteration but with the auto mode if you go let's see auto mode here we go so with the auto mode you can set how many iterations you want this cloud engineer to make your application perfect so if i say hey auto mode is 10 so it's going to create the application on the first iteration but for the next nine iteration it's going to perfect the application for you according to the prompt you have given it's damn damn amazing you should have it but at the end it cost you for the entropic and for the travely if it's a tavily so tavily if you are exceeding the 1000 request per month but if we can do this with the local LLM models like Olama and different things. It's going to be crazy, crazy amazing because it's going to help us to really do the mundane or the basic level task, which obviously you don't want to do every time you start creating your project. Great. So that's all enough information about the cloud engineer let's do some coding and see everything from scratch setting up the cloud engineer in your local and do amazing thing now before proceeding 
if you like these kind of video and the videos i'm creating on the ai thing then consider subscribing hit that subscribe button because that's important for me but if you also hit the like button that give me the motivation to create more contents just like this if you have any request comment below i will surely going to read and respond to you so without wasting time let's get started to get it started with the cloud engineer you can go to this repository which is for cloud engineer and the very first thing is to clone this repository and do the pip install let's see let's copy this go to my terminal run this command and once done we will open this with our vs code now here we have the vs code the very first thing i'm going to do is creating a dot env file from this example of dot env file and remember we need to have these entropic api key and tavli api key i'm going to tell you about both of them but let's just create a virtual environment first so i'll say python 3 virtual environment as dot venv and then activate this virtual environment and finally say pip install requirements.txt once everything is done then we can simply trigger this main.py file and see what's going to happen if i say python 3 main.py hit enter you can see it says a nice welcome and some of the triggers here like if i type exit it will exit the conversation very simply like this with a nice goodbye message but there are also some of other things like if i say image it will include some image auto mode is for auto mode of a specific number of iteration if you want and resetting safe chat like that okay let's start by asking something so what's new in react.js now if i say this it's going to give error for obviously entropic and uh, travely api now let's talk about the entropic first so as you know the cloud is an llm model which is by the entropic you can interact with entropic but if you want to use it through api you need some credit so once you sign in you can get the free five dollar credit you can claim it i already have that so i can simply generate the api key by clicking this create key give a name and once done then it will create the api key for you okay now i will put the api key here which is this one obviously i'm going to remove it after the tutorial and let's talk about the travely now what's travely not travely so travely travely what you want to call anyways so it's a way to connect your lm to the web basically travely search api is for search engine optimized for llm and rag especially the retrieval augmented generation we are going to use this and obviously we need the api key for this and we can simply use it this is really good when we want latest information to use for the task we are going to define okay now once we have all these api set up restart our application and now i'm going to say what's new in react js let's see this is not just going to search and uh, get the result but it will feed it to the llm model which is cloud by entropic and then it will going to give us the real summary so it says top result is sorry tool result is react 18 introduce uh, with that like this okay react introduce uh, suspension feature which allows to declare loading state so very true and this is the latest one but if you go the, on the real result it get cloud response to the tool result so this was the result from our uh, tavli search but then it given to the cloud api and finally it has created a very nice draft for us what's new in 18 what's new in 19 which is upcoming this proof that it is the real latest thing now 
after this it's giving the real summary what exactly it has done how many token it required and basically the cost you are having for this particular task we have defined but it's not just about searching you can actually create real world application so check this out create a expense tracking application in html uh, let's say using tailwind css for adding daily um, expenses let's see so first of all it will go to cloud and see if it need any information from web if needed then it will go for tably search otherwise it will create a step-by-step -step guide what to do and what are the code and since we have just asked to create for html it will only going to create one file but if you want you can do a lot of other things obviously it will going to cost you for your llm model or cloud but if it can work with the local llm model that's going to be really crazy so see we have this expense tracking application everything is here let's open this with live server and see what's going to happen wow that's so great so expense name let's say and tropic uh, credit and amount is let's say ten dollar and it's uh, obviously i'm going to choose today and add expense whoa that's great and if i reload obviously it's gone we have not given it to store it somewhere but yes you can do this and this is just in minutes done with this engineer cloud engineer okay so you can have any endless possibilities with this application which is really mind-blowing and let me know in the comment section do you really like these kind of tools which is going to help you to at least do the basic task obviously they cannot replace any engineer but they can be really helpful for every engineer so that we should not think about the basic we should only think about the real application real problem solving the big things basic can be done with these kind of amazing tools so if you like this video and if you have learned something from these videos just hit subscribe button because that's really important and the next important thing is hitting the like button number of like give me motivation to create more content just like this if you have any request for any other thing related to ai let me know in the comment section i will create video for it follow me on any social media platform at sarthak sevi you can share this video on any other platform just tag me at sarthak sevi we will meet in the next video till then goodbye